But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. We apologize, we have a very bad uh, time to be able to go live. Uh, I hope those that were waiting in the other uh, uh, broadcast, they will be here soon. Uh, you know, as you see, like, you know, these days, uh, people, they make a business out of uh, reaction to Islam and they claim to be either Catholic or whatever, you know, they claim like, you know. And uh, this is a business of the low class people, really. Uh, why anyone want to show himself watching a video and you know, action, reaction, you know, I mean, either you are a Muslim, you are not a Muslim, what are you? Oh, we are trying to make a view and we are trying to make a living. And we have, a, you know, usually those, the one who do that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, those lousy girls who have 10,000 10, 10, makeup, uh, kilogram of makeup in their face, uh, you know, trying to get audience and nobody listening to them. So they make those reactions and they can make money from YouTube. Now, this guy is a growing man. And obviously he is no Christian and we are going to get him busted again. If you remember last time he said that uh, he never heard of the Trinity before. Like he was shocked when he learned about the Trinity. I mean, a guy, he is, I don't know, 35, 40 years old. He was shocked when he learned about the Trinity. He, ne he never heard of the Trinity, and he claimed to be an Orthodox. Obviously, he's an Albanian Muslim. But look what happened. If you go to his channel, you will see right away, the first thing in his channel is buy this. Buy that. This is the first thing you see in his channel. Then if you go down in the channel too, you will find more information about uh, buy this and buy that. This guy, he even sell bikinis. If we click at his uh, channel, give me a second. Save 10% with my code. Yeah, save 10%. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I will make you save a lot of percent. Just wait. So if you go here down, you will see this guy, <clears throat> he sells Christian t-shirt. He sells all kinds of t-shirt. You know, the guy want to make money anyway. Grass and learned Notrian, not uh, not 10% uh, off, Bobby. Uh, okay, and then uh, use referral link. Okay, and get etc. cetera uh, discount. All right. And by the way, he said he have a Skype to call. I tried this email, it doesn't exist in Skype to call him. I don't know yet. You know, I could not find him. So if he if you have if you have the courage, let him speak to me so we can love. And then donate here. Okay, no problem. And uh, uh, Discord. Okay, no problem. And then Orthodoxy or Death T-shirt. <laughs> Orthodoxy and Kingdom of Satan T-shirt for sale. You know, everything for sale. Orthodoxy and the Religion of the Future T-shirt. All you need: meat and Jesus. Merch. You click there, what you will find? 
Let me try. T-shirt. Let's see the other one. And then we find that this guy, uh, he have Amazon and he sell bikinis. Where is his stage in, in Amazon? I mean, this guy, he sell everything. Everything is for sale. Uh, okay. All of those is for sale. I know, I click at the page here. If you see in the, let me show you. If you click here, it says Amazon, Amazon USA, Amazon Canada, Amazon Deutschland. I mean, this guy, he have a branches everywhere. And then you click and you will find Amazon page, which is Amazon bikini and uh, other stuff. So I'm not going to go there. You can click and check yourself. Uh, but what this guy is trying to do exactly? Simply, he's a businessman. He is trying to get a view. I mean, a, a person who care for the chair of Allah, he care really for halal, uh, ball, kelp. And advertising of YouTube, etc. So let us hear Mr. Bob. Maybe he have something. I mean, he want to sell bikini, so what? I mean, bikini is good. You know, this guy is interested in God and bikini, but they met together. Bought Bobby Ten on raw, organic, grass fed, and grass finished, freeze dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Uh huh. Okay, so now we go and we see how this guy obviously is a scam. If you knew, my name is Bobby. Guys, first and foremost, thank you so much for your feedback and your support. After my last religious reaction video, I asked you guys if... Religious reaction videos. You have religious action. You see, there's a religious reaction. <laughs> religious reaction. <laughs> If you want to follow along on my religious search, if you want to explore Islam, the Quran, etc. with me, and you guys said overwhelming. A question, why we need to explore the Quran with you exactly? I mean, who you are supposed to, you do not know much about Islam. So what you in the video doing what exactly? Let us see that you would be interested so today we're going to react to the throne of allah wow. by yet again merciful servant i personally know very little about the throne of allah however within the christian apologetic scene the throne of allah is used to attack islam to be more precise you stupid coward liar idiot you have no dignity and you are no christian Listen, guys, what he will say. I stop him because this is very important. Listen carefully what he will say. However, within the Christian apologetic scene, the throne of Allah is used to attack Islam, to be more precise, to attack Tawheed, the oneness of God. You stupid, you coward, you potato, you tomato, you shish kebab, you hummus. How we can attack the Tawheed, the oneness of Allah, by the throne? Isn't it God of the Christian have a throne too? So this guy, he is claiming to be Christian, but he never heard that the God of the Christian, he have a throne. <laughs> and the God of the Jews, he have a throne. <laughs> I mean, this is the most stupid thing. If Allah is one, he have one throne. What the, what the problem? This is how we attack the oneness of Allah by the throne. Show me the Christians who attack Allah because he have one throne or the oneness of Allah. Because of a throne, because you have a throne, I cannot believe how low class you are, how liar, how fabricator you are. You see, he did not say the description that make fun of it, etc. No, he says the attack, the Tawheed. The attack, the Tawheed. 
But if we go right now in the Bible, we will find tons of verses. And the Christian and the Jews, they believe that God is one. There's tons of verses in the Old Testament speaking about God's throne. You go to Psalm chapter 11, verse number 4. You go to Exodus. You go to Kings. You go to Isaiah. You go in the New Testament. Not only in the Old Testament. I mean, what a liar, what a coward you are. I cannot believe how trashy you are trying just to make business, make money out of nothing, and you try to make a topic like he was amazed by the throne of Allah, and why the Christian they try to attack the Tawheed of Allah by the throne. We do not need to use the throne to attack his Tawheed because he is one or two or three, who care? You see how stupid you are? If a person, he is one. One what, anyway? You know, when, he, when the Muslim, they say he is one, one what? We as a Christian, we believe that God, uh, when we say he's one, we are not counting numbers. We're talking about unity. Ikhad. Ikhad is not one, by the way. Ikhad is a one as unity, not as numbers. The Muslim, they say one as number. So one is what? If, if he is one as number, then there is two and there's three. Because you cannot count him as number one unless there is number two. What? One what? One God, two God, three God. So when a person like this, he make a claim, and we find that the Bible, all of it, you know, all of it speaking about the, 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 the throne of God, right away from the beginning of the Bible, from the Old Testament. If we go in the Bible, just to show you, we go to Psalm. Chapter 11, verse number 4. So how a Christian can attack Islam because God have a throne? You are a scam, my friend. This is our book. And there is endless, and even Jesus himself, he will sit in the throne. So you are an idiot. And you are a fraud trying to make money. You look for a topic, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, you see the woman, she is making reactions, she put lips a stick. This guy is not a woman, so what he can, he put lips a stick, he cannot. So now the reaction, because the Christian, they attack the Tawheed by the throne, we do not need the throne to attack the Tawheed. And Tawheed for us is not important. And by the way, the word Tawheed means unification, just to show you how stupid you are. Tawheed does not mean the oneness of God. Tawheed is an Arabic word mean unification. As an example, Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiyya, unification or uniting the, the, the Arabian states. Like actually, the uh, uh, United States of America, if we want to make it in Arabic, if America is not yet a United State, I mean United already, so we will use the present tense, we will say Tawheed. So because now we are working in doing the unification, the, uni the, the, the United USA. So even the word Tawheed does not even exist to be proven the oneness of God is the opposite. In fact, the first time Muhammad, he learned about monotheism, it was from a Jew. If we go to the hadith, we will find the following. Muhammad do not know what Tawheed mean, and obviously if he knew, no Muslim will use it because Tawheed mean Allah is not one as a, per, as a person, it means one as a unity. Here we see in the front of us, a Jewish guy, and as you see, it's a Jew. It's not a Hindu, it's not even a Christian. It is a Jew. He came to the false prophet Muhammad. Do you see how we attack what you call Tawheed? We do not need to attack Tawheed. Tawheed proved that Christianity is right because Tawheed means unification, not oneness of God as one number. Here you see a, a, a rabbi. 
he came to Muhammad and he said to him, you are setting up reviles to Allah, to God. He didn't say, you know, the Muslim, they claim Allah, but the Jews don't believe in Allah anyway. And associating other with him, you say, whenever Allah wills and you will, and you say by the Kaaba, the Muslim, they swear by the Kaaba, they are pagan. They swear by the Kaaba, by stones. So the Prophet command them, if they want to swear an oath, to say by the Lord of the Kaaba, and to say whatever he Allah wills, and then what you will. So you see here, a Jewish guy is getting Muhammad busted, and Muhammad is following a Jew direction. Do you see it, people? So we do not need, you know, to attack Tawheed because it's not exist in Islam. Tawheed does not exist. How a Jew walking by, he get Muhammad busted, and Muhammad is following the command and the, and the, 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 the like uh, uh, the direction of the Jew teaching. You see, Muhammad did not say to him, "No, you are wrong. We we did not get it wrong. He's a prophet of God. So how come Allah did not send him a message that says you are doing wrong, man?" And when Muhammad, he agreed with the Jew to correct himself and to correct the Muslims, was that Jew Allah? Because as I know, a prophet of God should not listen to the Jews. Why Muhammad consider what the Jew is saying is the correct way to practice Tawheed. As you see, they are associating. Do you see? Read, guys, read carefully. What the Jews, he said to Muhammad, you are a mushrik. You are not a person who believes in, in, in the oneness of God. The Jew is not talking about how you really pray, how you do rituals. No, no, no. He's saying you are a mushrik. The Arabic actually it says that clearly. It says, innakum tushrikuna. You are polytheist. The word in front of you, anyone can copy this hadith here in Arabic, and you can copy this sentence or the whole thing and post it in Prophet Google, peace be upon him. Translation. وَإِنَّكُمْ تُشْرِكُونَ تَقُولُونَ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ وَشِئْتُ وَتَقُولُونَ وَالْكَابَ When you swear by the Kaaba. And then you will see how the Prophet, which is obviously a false prophet, because a false prophet should not receive his command about how to worship the oneness of God from a Jew walking by. What if the Jew is wrong? Obviously he's not. And how come Muhammad did not notice that this is wrong? And if you say to me that it's not wrong, so why Muhammad agreed to change it? Obviously it's wrong. So the Jew, he was right. And Muhammad is a fraud, is a scam like you, sitting in bikini, you know, he's trying to, to establish a gang. You know, in your case, you want to sell the product and you want to make some money from the food by making reaction videos, like a kid. You have, no, you have no dignity, you have no honor. You, you are a man, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Reaction video to make money? I'm glad you didn't make a video about reaction for watching porn. That would be horrible. So we as a Christian, we do not need the throne of Allah to attack his oneness because oneness of God mean nothing to us really I mean if God is 10 he's 10 if God is five he's five if God is uh, is a million he's a million so what are you going to tell God what he will be you see the stupidity to attack the oneness of Allah who cares if he is one or ten he's a stupid God as you see Muhammad is in the limbo and he do not know what to do and a Jewish walk him by and he correct him about how to worship and who is we worshiping. Muhammad being a mushrik and his God did not send him the pizza guy Jibreel to correct him. Who is the one who corrected him? It was a Jew. So if not this Jew, Muhammad until now and his followers, they will be saying what they are saying. In fact, Reading this hadith is telling us, and this is by the way Sahih, so they might say to you, hey, Daif, you know, Daif, 
a whole religion of Daif. By the way, if you are Daif, take vitamin from bobbies. Bobbies, he sell everything. Bikinis, monkeys, donkeys, you know, everything you want, even for a grass. You want to feed your grass, he can feed your grass too. So, if you look carefully, the Muslim Tawheed is a, is a follower of a Jew, not of Muhammad. Because the one who said that, it was a Jew. Do we agree? The Muslim, they were not practicing the correct belief. A Jewish guy, he fixed the belief in Muhammad, therefore the belief of the Muslims. So the Muslims are Zionist. They are followers of a Jew. We do not even know who is the Jew. Maybe Jack Shalom. Maybe Netanyahu. Maybe Arik Sharon. Maybe Golda Meir, but she was a woman. Maybe she came as a man. Isn't it a shame that those are the one is cursed, as the Quran says in chapter 1, and we find that the cursed one is the correcting the worship of the Muslims? I find your video is insulting to you, my friend. I call you my friend just to be friendly. You are no friend to me. I don't friend stupid people and hypocrites. Liars who don't want to make money from the food. And then, you know, the Christian, they attack the oneness of Allah by the throne, but you didn't tell us how, you know. And then he continued his drama. Let me, uh, let me turn this, the, the, the ketchup, which means is the subtitle. So now he is listening to this guy who is a crazy guy, you know, Muslims even make fun of him, about the throne of Allah. All the praise is for Allah, who is the author of all existence and the most generous to his creation, while he is also the all-compelling. As I already said in my Quran video, what I absolutely love is that God is addressed first and foremost. All the praise is given to God first, and then we can talk. Uh, and then we can talk, brother. And then we can talk, as if other believe, even the Hindu, they believe they praise their God first, even the Christian, the Jews. Uh, what, what's wrong with people? And then we talk, okay? First we praise God, and then we talk. Okay, we talk about what? Let us move a little bit, just to see his comments. Thing that can share this absoluteness. All the praise is for Allah. What, what? Absoluteness of what? That is absolute. Obviously, there is nothing that can share this absoluteness. All the in comparison with him. Even metaphysically speaking, if we're talking about a necessary being that is absolute, obviously there is nothing that can share this absoluteness. Nothing can share this absoluteness. Do you know that Allah, he compared himself to a tree, you idiot? And this is the Quran. Nothing can absolute uh, comparisons. You know, we cannot compare Allah to anything. And by the way, this is from the Old Testament. It says nothing like God. Nothing like God. If we go in the Quran, you will see the Quran says that Allah is the same as a tree. And the same as a niche, and the same as a lamp, and this lamp is powered by oil, olive oil. Read it. Nothing can compare to Allah. Allah Himself comparing Himself to a tree. Chapter twenty-four, verse number thirty-five. It's in the front of you. Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. The parable of His light, as if it were a niche, within a lamp. And the lamp in a glass, and the glass in a where, where a brilliant star, and then he continued to the olive and olive oil, etc. But you know, we have even more powerful than this. What about Allah is compared to the Antichrist? Nothing can compare to Allah. The Sheikh he says so. Okay, <laughs> well, what we see in the in the Muslim books is different. This is Muhammad himself, and this is Sahih. It says 
that the Antichrist have one eye, his defect, the rest of him look exactly like Allah. Nothing compared to Allah. Allah have hands. When we say hands, his hands. Why Allah using the word hands if he don't want to compare himself to hands? Allah have a shin, Allah have a foot, Allah have fingers, Allah have eyes. But look at the disaster here, and this is Sahih, as you see, he cannot say this is not, uh, you know. And by the way, I'm not making the video to respond to him, I just expose it, you know, this guy is doing business, obviously he's just a fraud. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, and I am afraid that you are not to understand. Look like the more Muhammad explained, the more Muslims get confused. Have you ever heard somebody saying, I, told, I explained to you too much to the point I'm worried you don't understand. Have you ever heard of a stupid comment like this? Brother and sister. Is that care? How in the world you got in the line with us? First and breath. I'm going to explain the hadith and bleed. Give me time. Name on you. Uh, okay, Zakir, now go ahead. I'm listening. Prophet of Allah, he explained to us a lot about the Daddal. Who? The Daddal. Uh, you mean the Dajjal? Exactly. Uh, okay. First and breath. They don't interrupt me. When you interrupt me, you get the idea out of my head. Uh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. So Allah, Prophet, he explained to us about the Daddal. And he was worried that because he explained too much, we can't understand. Hey, all does that kind of like, how you explain too much and now we can't understand. Christian Prince, first of all, the prophet explanation is different kind of repetition. Look, what the heck, what? What, what? what you just said, just repeat again? It's kind of different level. Ah, different level. Okay, but what kind of level? All the explanation, he's still worried that he explained nothing yet. So what the point of the previous explanation? If he is worried that because he spoke too much about it, you don't understand. Is he the smart one who speak less and make a point? Prince and Prince, first of all, we are Muslims. We are not like you. Hey, I understand. You got a point there. Exactly. So the Prophet of Allah, he have to explain very much. And the more he explain, the more he confuse us. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Exactly. So the Prophet, he explained very much. He gave us a class number one, class number two, class number three, class number four, class number, and even I graduated from the high school. Still, he is explained to us. Hey, okay, after all the explanation, what happened? It's still we don't understand. Mm -hmm. So now, how we guarantee that this one is going to explain to you all the previous explanation? Read and breath. Read really carefully. It says that the Prophet of Allah, he said, the Antichrist is short. Are you short, Christian Prince? Uh, very short, yeah. Exactly, I know it. I am very tall and you are very short. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, he make Allah. Thank you Allah for making Christian Prince very short. Christian Prince, I knew it. And you know that, you know, I'm not going to put you down because you are short and because I'm tall. Zach and I just, was just joking. Christian Prince, I get you butted, I get you corded. You are short and you know it. Okay, no problem, whatever you say. The Antichrist is short and Christian Prince, the Antichrist is short, and he is haunted, and will hurt, and one-eyed, and eyesightless. Okay, what does this have to do with Allah? And neither bird reading or leaves he did. What the heck, we are talking about his ass now? Exactly. Okay. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. What does that mean? Listen, Prince. Prophet of Allah is saying to us that Antichrist, he looks exactly like Allah. Ah, so Allah is not uh, deep-seated? Exactly. And Allah is not, is Allah is short? Zakir? Zakir, is Allah short? Zakir, where you go? Zakir? It turned to be that Allah is short. Because he looked exactly the act like the Antichrist, the only difference between them is one eye. And remember, the Antichrist is a man. And now Zach and Naik, he took a hike. Because it turned to be that Allah is short. And the short Allah is equal to a short man. And this man is a person trying to clone Jesus. You see, actually, in Arabic, it doesn't say the word Antichrist. And by the way, Muslims, how in the world do you believe in Antichrist? The second you say believe Antichrist, that means Christ is God. Because this is the devil. You know, Satan is anti who? 
Anti-man? Who is the man? He's no one for him. He's anti-God. So the second you accept that the Satan, the most powerful creature, is Antichrist, that means Christ is right. Did you notice that Antichrist is not anti-Muhammad? <laughs> People, did you not notice? Did you notice? There is Antichrist, but there is no anti-Muhammad. Why? Because Muhammad is nobody. He is just a child molester. And why Satan will be against Muhammad if Muhammad is serving Satan? Satan is against the one who is trying to compete with him, or let's say he is trying himself to compete with him. That is God. He disobey God because he want to be God. So here we see that Muhammad himself is comparing his God Allah. And we just heard in the video that nobody compared to him. Nobody, nobody like him. Absolutely nobody like him. And then the video continue about Allah, he created everything and blah, 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 blah. And you know, if we, but if we see and see the description of Allah, you will see something very funny. Allah is a physical person. This is not a metaphorical throne. Who carry the throne of Allah? Eight goats, mountain goats. And look at the Prophet Muhammad and his scientific discovery. You know, Muhammad, he says things, it's not exist in Arabic, and you know, he, he fabricates things. So suddenly, Muhammad, he says, Al Mazen, the Mazen. They said to him, Prophet, what is the Mazen? What the heck is that? Then he said, Al Anan. He said, Al Anan? What is that? So read really carefully. The Messenger of Allah looked, he saw a cloud. Look, I was sitting. Uh, uh, with the company of Muhammad uh, and when a cloud passed by above the messenger of Allah he says he looked at it and he said what do you call this that's deep that is so deep hold on hold on I need to some have some meditation hey people What do you call this? Huh? What do you call this? Hmm? The Prophet of Allah, he looked at the cloud. He saw a cloud passing by. The cloud has a name. I mean, how do you want to know that this somebody is a prophet and the other is not? Muhammad, he discovered a name for the cloud. So, okay, Muhammad, what is that? Can you help us, please? So he looked at the cloud and he said, uh, What do you call this? The Arab, they said to him, Sahab, which means cloud. He says, and what Mazen? Mazen? And Sayyid, and they said, and Mazen. He said, and Anan? They said, and Anan, no problem. And then Abu Dawood says, I'm not quite confident about the word Anan. He asked, do you know the distance between the heaven and the earth? If, 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 if. Muhammad, he compare the distance to God by the distance of the cloud. And he's asking them, what do you call this uh, cloud? Anan, Mazen, potato, tomato. Look now, Muhammad is going to give us like his knowledge, which nobody knows. They replied, we do not know. Look at the Muslims, how decent they are. 
look like they say that to me from the old days. Like the guy he called me yesterday, I do not know, maybe. They say that, I don't care. We don't know. The easiest way to run away from a question, embarrassing question, Allah knows best. So we do not know. He said, the distance between them, 71, 72, 73 years. Look, Muhammad is not sure. We have to be honest here. We have to give him a point. We have to give him some credit. Look, Muhammad is like 71, 72. Obviously, he got information from God because God himself too is not sure. You see, Muslims, if Muhammad is receiving this information from God, God told him 71, maybe 72, uh, 73. Like, what the heck is that? He received that from God? And then he continued. The heaven which above, it is similar distance. Okay. Going the counted seven heaven. Stop. Stop, please. It is time for the strap these. Man, Prophet Muhammad is so handsome like me. He got an offer to work in a strap these club for blind women. Look at this, guys. So Muhammad, he said 71, 72, 73. I will say 73 x 7 so we can see where Allah is located. As simple as that. 511 years. In speed of what? Let us say speed of light. You know, let us say, the man, you know, Muhammad, maybe he is using the speed of camel, but we will use the speed of light. The Muslim, they say to you, well, the angels are made from light. So when they move, they move in the speed of light. Okay, but Muhammad is not angel. He's talking about what? Is he, is he, can he move in the speed of light? But we will let it go. Let us say you are going the speed of light. Do you remember the post I made in Patreon a few days ago? About they receive the signals from a 3 billion years of light distance? Three billions, brother. Let me see if I can find it. Signal. From a three billion, just, just a few days ago, you know. So if the signal is coming from a three billion light years, Let me see. Uh, I'm not sure where to find it. I don't want to go to uh, Patreon now. Uh, but you, you can find it. I mean, I mean, this is a this is a joke. Five five. What? What is the number? What? Five hundred eleven years. That's it. Allah is so close. And then, you know, this guy in his video, he's speaking about the throne of Allah. He's not even speaking, just making a silly comment. Do you know that Allah, when he did create the earth and the heaven as he claimed, he went up to his throne? Let's go to the Quran. One of the funny things about Muhammadan, they say that Allah cannot be inside his creation. But, you know, lately we got them busted, and we heard like this kid, Mimi Hijab, the Muta boy, the Tits boy, he agreed that Allah entered his creation, and we got them busted one by one. So, you will see as an example all over the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 29, 29 and other verses like chapter 10, verse number 3, uh, chapter 7, uh, verse number 54, etc. 
It says, it is he who created for you that an earth, then between two brackets, stawa, rose over toward the heaven. And he made them seven heaven. So according to Islam, the earth is created first before creating the heaven. And this is very silly, stupid, because how you can create the earth before you make a space for it? If the space does not exist, when we say the heaven, we are talking about space. Actually, in Arabic, it doesn't even say heaven. It says sama, sky. See, when the Muslim translate, they say to you, heaven, nowhere, nowhere, it says heavens. It says skies. And he made them seven skies. This is why it's very important to know Arabic. Because reading what the Muslims say, it's very deceiving. There's a huge difference between skies and heavens. You know, because heaven, it can be something out of this. It's not even created, maybe. Like, let's say, this God who will create for them a heaven does not exist yet. When the time comes, he will make it ready for them. But this is the sky. This is exactly the sky. So if we change, let us see this guy, Arbery. Just to see how the Muslim they change the translation. This guy is using the word heaven. But anyway, you do not need me to switch for your translation. You can copy the word, and you will see that the word is a sky. And just copy the word. See, they say in heaven. But if you go here, take the word as sama. You can say the same verse. You can you see it on the screen. You can freeze it. You can screenshot. Copy exactly the word as it is, and take it to Google. And you will see Sama mean skies. So Allah He created this the, the earth and then He turned to the heaven and He made the heaven seven heaven. What about the throne of Allah? Let us see. Al Arsh Istawa. Okay. Chapter 13, verse number 2. Allah, who create, uh, who, he who raised the heaven without pillars, you can see. And by the way, if you read the interpretation for this, you will see that Allah is saying that the earth, sorry, the heaven, have pillars. And the heaven was down in the earth, and Allah, he raised it up, which is very stupid. So there is pillars, and where we can find the pillars, you can go to the chapter of Qaf. You remember chapter Qaf? And you will see that Qaf is a mountain azuring the earth from all direction. You see, we don't like to say things without proofs. If we go to Qaf, and you can read the Muslim, the highest Muslim interpretation, Ibn Abbas, it says here, for the narration on the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said, Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking the world and the color of the sky takes from it. So now we knew how Islam understand the creation of the earth. The earth is a flat, and we showed you that many times. You can read in my books. And there is a mountain around the earth, like a fence, in the top of that mountain, which is a blue, that's why we cannot see. There is the sky. And why the sky is a blue? Because the mountain is a blue. And this is again not Christian Prince interpretation because they will say to you, is lying. It doesn't say that, CP. This is your official government website, the Kingdom of Jordan. This website is owned by the fraud King of Jordan. And no wonder he's a fraud because he's descendant from Muhammad. And no wonder he is the puppy of the CIA. Because he is a person who betrays his people like Muhammad. He betrays his son, betrays his wives, betray everybody. So if we go and check about the throne of Allah, we will find that the throne of Allah is very funny and very weird. Here it says, Then he set himself upon the throne. There's tons of video by Muslims made. 
how the God of the Bible says in the in the in the in the in the seventh day in the Sabbath, God he rested. How God he rest? He got tired. Hmm? Do God get tired? Rest there is the same as the word Sabbath. It's about he is done. Finished. Who said he's tired? And this is a translation. Here we find that Allah, after he created the earth and the heaven, is doing the same exactly as the Bible is saying. He went and he said. And the Bible says he rested. Here it says he sat in the throne. Well, why he sat? Is he tired? In the same time here, where was Allah? Any Muslim can tell me where is Allah and where he was before he sat on the throne? In Arabic it says, ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ So after he finished creation, he sat on the throne. So during the creation, Allah was not on the throne. Do I agree? Muslims, anyone can give me, uh, can get me busted? Was Allah during the creation on the throne? The answer is no. Why? If Allah created everything by saying B, why he need to move his ass from the throne? What is that? What exactly the problem? Can't he create the earth by saying B? Why he went? He went where? Allah was moving where? You see, those are very embarrassing questions for this religion because those are the ones who refuse to accept that God go inside his creation. Their God is so big, but then we find that he is sitting in the chair physically. So he have to be smaller than the chair because when you sit in a chair, it doesn't make sense that the chair is smaller than you. Imagine I want you to use your imagination now. Imagine there is a small chair. Just to show you how you think carefully and you will see that Islam it doesn't make sense. And by the way, this is physical chair because we showed you that eight angels, the eight, sorry, eight goats will carry it. Not metaphorically in statement, it is for real. So imagine this is a chair. I'm very good in, by the way, in art. One of my students, let me remember his name, uh, Bacasso, Bacasso, something like this. Bacasso, Bacasso, I forgot really. I mean, a lot of students, what you can say. So, hard to remember them all. So imagine, let me erase the, the, the back seat of the chair. No need for them. So imagine if Allah is Akbar, which means he is so big. And now Allah is going to sit where? On the chair. All right. In order for Allah to sit in the chair, he have to be smaller than the chair. Otherwise, imagine if this is the butt of Allah. I mean, they are not equal, but you know, because there's a three dimension, you know, you know, like, I know, very good in art, you know? So imagine this is the butt of Allah, and the chair is so small, I'm just making it small, you just uh, to fit in the screen. I can make it like Allah is so big. The Quran says, The size of his chair is the size of the earth and the heaven, but still this is smaller than him then. I mean, that's mean he's smaller than the, 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 the chair, because in order to sit on the chair, you have to be smaller than the chair. Secondly. Did I say secondly? I hate it when I say secondly. Because I like to jump to number three. You, are, you know, we are people of the Trinity, you know that. It hurt the Muslims. It, it, okay, let me jump to number three. Forget about uh, two, because that will hurt more. Number three, which is include number two. 
which is include number one. As long the chair of Allah is the same size of the earth and the heaven, that means the earth and the heaven have the same size to each other. <laughs> Let us go to the Quran. The yellow pages of Muhammad. <clears throat> And the funny that Muhammad is using, you see the Quran claim it's an Arabic word, but the word kursi is not an Arabic word. I mean, why Allah he called his chair by a language have nothing to do with the Arab? Because this is the first one who made those chairs, you know, he is not an Arab, so they call it kursi. So look at this uh, uh, verse. Allah la ilaha illa huwa. Allah is saying there's no one but he. So who is he? Who is you? Stupidity. Uh, and between two bracket, no one has the right to worship beside him. Where it says that? Or what the verse is saying, Allah, uh, there's no God but him. Why don't translate that? And then, the ever living, we will discuss that later. The one who sustained, blah, 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 he can do a lot of stuff. He own eBay, he own Amazon. He can, you know, he's, he owned Walmart. I mean, everything belonged to him. To him belong whatever in the heaven and whatever in the earth. I forgot to flesh my twilight seat. Which belong to Allah. Who is that can intercede with him except with his permission? If we, if we check, we will find a different verse in the Quran saying nobody can intercede with Allah. And this verse this says there is somebody with permission. Eh, stupid Muhammad. Then he says, just to go to the cheese. His kursi, kursi means a chair. Extend over the heaven and the earth, lie. It doesn't say extend. It says, wiso kursi. The width of his chair is the earth and the heaven. Change the translator. Itani Allah. Hmm. Let us read. Is a throne extend false? Wisa does not mean extend. Let us see the different one. Katab. Katab the Katab. His seat, he composes the heaven and the earth. What the heck is that? But anyway, I made the point. The word wisa means the exact size of both of them. But let us say for the sake of argument, say that the chair of Allah is bigger than the heaven and the earth. But it's still a chair at the end of the time. And the chair is created. And Allah is inside the chair. You see? I, I hate to use my skills again. I guess you are taking advantage of me, don't you? I'm trying to learn how to draw and, you know, you know, like, you know, many of you are going to end like an architect, a very famous architect because of me. So if this is a chair, and those are the hands, And Allah is sitting here on the chair. Will he have to be? Is he he's contained in the chair? If this is God, Aka Allah, sitting here, and remember Allah have a head, Allah have a body, Allah have a shin, and he the shin is coming down. Okay. No matter how big Allah is, still he is inside the chair. And you will see that the chair have to be inside the space. So Allah is inside the space. Now let us go to the hadith to make things more clear. Please don't forget not to invite your friends because if you invite your friends, they will get smarter than you and they will become educated. So don't do that. Okay. And now don't let your wife to join us because then your wife, she will learn where you got your information from, and she will notice that you are not that smart. 
you are learning from somebody else. So don't invite your wife, neither your cousin, neither your sister, neither your daughter. So later the Muslim can fool them and convert them to Islam. So here we go. We will find the following. Allah will come every third part of the night. <clears throat> Let me find you the hadith here. In case you do not know what hadith mean, hadith mean a speech either by Muhammad or by his gang. Abu Kapsha. By the way, do you know that Muhammad is called Abu Kapsha? Ibn Abi Kapsha? Uh, let us see here. Read with me carefully. And I changed the Muslim to tell me how Allah is unique. How Allah is unique. How Allah is not like, no one like him. And by the way, this is a hadith confirmed by all those YouTubers in YouTube, the kids like Mimi Hijab, even the Ketchup Boy, which is do not know how to read the verse in the Quran or in Arabic. It says here Abu Huraira. Huraira means like it's a name for the cat. So he used to have a lot of cats in his lap. Don't ask me why. Fishy. Those people, they have sex with everything, even watermelon. Our Lord the Blessed, the Exalted, descend every night to the lowest heaven when one third the later part of the night is left. And as you see, this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Bukhari. So they cannot say this is rejected, not accepted, or the garbage we hear. This is Sahih. Period. All Muslims agree that this is Sahih. So Allah, He come in the third part of the night. He come where? He come to the lowest heaven. The heaven is seven heaven according to Muhammad. Seven skies, by the way. Not really heaven. You see, again, just to remind you, nowhere here it says the word heaven. It says Sama. Sama is not heaven. Sama. Is a sky, word means sky. Heaven is Jannah. In Islam, the word heaven is Jannah. And Jannah is coming from the word uh, Janine, you know, like uh, uh, an embryo you cannot see. This is why the word even gen genie is the same. Genie is something you cannot see. So this is a Jannah, it's a garden somewhere we cannot see. So here we see that the Messenger of Allah is saying, Our Lord, who is a blessed and exalted descend every night to the lowest heaven. Do you see the word descend? Do you see it? If Allah is nothing like him, nothing blah blah blah, blah and blah 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 blah, and his chair is the size of the heaven and the earth, and then he go through Sky number seven, sky number six, sky number six, uh, five, four, two, three, you know, one. Did I say three, two, one? This is Arabian count. I learned that from the Prophet Muhammad. Just take a note. So, Allah, he come day, every day, every night, I feel sorry for him. I mean, he had to commute. I hope he can report that to the tax department. A lot of commute. And why Allah, he come every third part of the... And look, he have to come in a certain time, brother. MashaAllah. Smash Allah. So this God, he come down every third part of the night. Hey, Bobby, you want to make reaction for this? I want to see your reaction. But keep your clothes on, please. Let me show you my reaction. As long people, they like reaction videos. I have to do a reaction too. I wish I can, I can get a camera and turn the camera for you and scare the hell of you. But I'm afraid if I turn it on, all of you will leave. And nobody will be here. 
same when I go in the elevator. I go in, everybody leave. I leave, everybody get in. Don't ask me why. So look, brother. Oh. Where is show the across the landscape? Space, I think this one, sky, the sky. So let us go to the earth, hold on, not the sky. Earth. All right. I just turned for you a Google Earth, by the way. Is it created by the Arab? We are the first one who created everything. And Allah is an Arab. He created the whole universe anyway. And everything belongs to Allah. Okay? Yeah, hey, ladies, your makeup belongs to Allah. That's why the Prophet, peace upon him, he used to put makeup three times a day. You want to be pretty. So look what happened. Allah, he come down every day. And here the word come down, you know, this is literally, we are talking about the movement of physical movement. I mean, down is very funny because what is down now is up later. What do you mean down? So Muhammad was living in Saudi Arabia. It's not a secret. Did I tell you a secret, by the way? I hope not. I mean, there's, I see somebody, he's, he have a reaction for this now. I mean, this is a model style these days. Everybody have reaction. Look at their mouth. You know, like they, they never heard before this before that the prophet was in Saudi Arabia. What's wrong with you? Look at their reaction. Who would make reaction for this? So listen what happened. Allah come down every third part of the night. It's almost my timing to go to the bathroom. So where is Allah now? He is in the seven heaven, here. And there is the heaven, number six. And there is heaven, number five. And there is heaven, number four. And heaven, number three. And heaven, number two. And heaven, number one. So the poor Allah, he have to pass every day a trip. And this trip is a unique trip. He have to go from here all the way. To here. And then not to forget, he have to go back again up. Correct? And he will do that every 24 hours because it says every third part of the night. And here actually you see, hey Bobby, don't, make, don't forget to make reaction for this. Here you see how Muhammad is a fraud because now he's assuming that is, there's only one time zone in the earth. And Allah, he come down every third part of the night. Because Allah, if he, Allah, he come down every third part of the night, that's when Allah never left. How he can keep coming up and up? Do we have only like one third part of the night? Right now, many of you is almost midnight. Maybe you passed the midnight. You did pass the midnight if you live in Kalabulu, uh, you know, like somewhere like Japan or something maybe. Or maybe Korea, Korea. I think in Korea, they, they passed the middle of the night, did they? Yeah, you know, because Korean, they have different, uh, they live in different territory. They, because they, that's why they eat kimchi. Because, you know, for them, when they eat kimchi, they sleep like in this time. So for them, they think it's like noon, noon time, the night time, but the fact it's noon time. So, like, uh, yeah, kimchi is a solution. So Allah, he go down every, every time in the third part of the night in the kimchi time. He go down, he go down, he go down, he go down. And now he say, who is praying for me? Allah, he have a bad reception. I told you, never use AT&T or T-Mobile. What's wrong with you? God. What I'm typing in Arabic, man? What is that? I switch to English. So I have a genie in my computer. AT and T. Which T is first, by the way? I'm confused. Sometimes I write, like I spend like an hour to think about it. AT and T, which T is first, which T is first. Anyway, just let it go for now. We will think about that later. 
We are deep thinkers, philosophers, philosophers. So AT&T have no connection. T-Mobile have no connection. Verizon have no connection. What? Uh, why Allah is coming down every third part of the night? I thought Allah is capable of everything. Cannot he extend his reception? I challenge any Muslim to leave a comment later. Not now. Don't leave comment now. You come on. We want your comment later. And don't listen to the Christian. The Christian they make comment says I'm first. I'm second. The smart one he says I'm third. We want a real comment. Those are not those are Christian kids. Don't do that with the Christian kids do. What smart Christian people do? Like, give me an answer. Why Allah have to come down every third part of the night? And how Allah he believed there's only one third part of the night. Guys, based on science, I'm not a scientist, as you know. I have only just uh, three PhD in hummus, one PhD in shish kebab, and uh, you know the the biggest I'm waiting for, working for now, is the sound of fart. Do you know that there is a Muslim guy he got a PhD from Islamic University in Saudi Arabia, in the sound of the stomach, exactly fart. Yes, brother, this is Islamic studies. Because fart have a huge impact in Islam. So let us focus here. If Allah is amazing, Allah nothing like him. How Allah is a stupid telling Muhammad that he come every third part of the night to receive, to hear the prayer. And you see, Muhammad, because the Muslim, they might try to say to you, this is metaphorically, it says he descend. You do not need to say the word descend. He can say, Allah, he listened to your prayer at this time. And by the way, this time is not even the time of your prayer. So you pray five times a day, Allah don't receive it? Because none of them is the third time of the, of the night. So why is coming the wrong time? And why at night? So when Allah He descend, He is moving from point A to point B, and He is going inside His creation. So not only He is now sitting in the throne, no, He He came down from the throne, and I show you actually from the Quran where it says, after Allah He created the earth and the heaven, He set Himself on the throne. So where was Allah when he was creating the earth? Obviously he was in the earth. And then he rose to heaven. Do we have any Muslim have an objection? <clears throat> Anyone? I don't see any Muslim. Look like this is very no Muslim want to do uh, like uh, um, uh, um, uh, like reaction. I like to see a reaction of Muslims. What do you think? Anyone? Uh, let me see if I can find this hadith. There's a nice hadith, actually. Uh, I will try to find it. Um, but I don't know if I can find it in English. We will see. If not, we will use... We will use Google Translation. This is the book of Ibn Taymiyyah. And the Muslim, they cannot deny that this is their boss. You will see all those potatoes in YouTube, they are copying this guy, calling him the Sheikh, Sheikh al Islam, whatever potato. It says here, he 
إن أرشه أو كرسيه وسع السماوات والأرض وإنه يجلس عليه فما يفضل منه قدر أربعة أصابع What the heck is that mean? Brothers and sisters, when Allah he sit on the chair, all the chair will be full, almost, except the size of four fingers. Which Allah he don't sit on it, which means the chair is just four fingers wider than Allah. Let us use Google Translation. And by the way, this is the reference here. This is the, let us use Google Translation anyway. Majmu'u al-Fatawa ibn Taymiyyah. All right. This is Ibn Taymiyyah, not anyone, not a guy from YouTube. 4395. Let me zoom there. Do you see it? 4. Three nine five, and this is Google Translation. And he it says, is a throne or the throne extend beyond the heaven and the earth, and he sit on it. Allah he sit on it, and then what is left? The translation is not really good is the size of four fingers. So the extra space around the ass of Allah in his chair is four fingers. <laughs> Let me send the link for you. Who won the hadith? By the way, we give hadith with 70 per version. Okay, I don't know if you like 70 versions. I don't know if you are a female. I don't know what to do to you. Because all Arab men are not virgins. It's very hard to find an Arab men's version, especially if you have goat at home. So look at this. I hate it when somebody says, Link, please. I mean, my friend, I'm an Arab. We are rude. Don't say to me, please. You, you hurt me. Please? What language is that? What, what a manner you have. Is that what your mom taught you to say, please? I'm, that's it. I cannot continue. I'm, I'm really it hurt. Saying to an Arab guy, please, what's wrong with you? There's no good manner these days. Uh, I miss the old days, man. I miss it. We used to do jihad. We rape the wife of the man, and we never say please to him. Actually, we say, we say, did we please you, raping our wife? Huh? Me and the Prophet Muhammad together? What the heck is that, please, huh? So, as you see, the fingers is fingers. And look how funny it is that the Muslims are comparing the size of Allah's throne. He's so big, but there's four fingers left. So imagine the chair is like a million mile distance, the, the, the seat. And then you say, and there's four fingers are not occupied by the ass of Allah. Four fingers. Which one is you are talking about? Which finger? You know, first time I came in the highway, driving the highway in USA, people they are putting their hand out of the car, and I was saying, "Man, I'm so famous right away." Everybody is saying hello. I don't know what they are saying. You know, they put their hand out of the window, and and then later I discovered that it's not something nice, huh? Okay, so it was four fingers. All right. And now Allah, who sat in a chair, let's have five and four fingers. He come down every day. So now we discover that the throne is a physical throne. Allah, he sat physically. And as you see, the space which is between to, to fill the whole chair is just four fingers. So Allah ass is so big. Because when you say to me, the only thing is left is four fingers. That's mean Allah ass is so big. As simple as that. And by the way, this is all over Islamic Sunni books. 
This is not only Ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah is not just making his own. So the throne of Allah is not for us to refuse it because of Tawheed, as this idiot he said. We laugh at it because that proved to us that Allah is physical. Yet they refuse that Jesus came to us as a physical being, and their God is a physical. And there's tons of hadith and tons of videos, and the Muslim they say, yes, Allah have a hand, Allah have a face, Allah have eyes, Allah have a shin. So now the shin, the hand, the face, the ass of Allah is on the chair. So why the Muslim refuse Jesus to be God? If God should not be accepted in any form, as the Muslim designed him to be, well, Jesus, he came to this earth. The Quran says in chapter 19, verse 19, that he is holy. A few days ago, we spoke to a Muslim. He called me and he was laughing like a monkey from pain. He said that the verse doesn't say holy, it says pure. Well, pure actually is even more than pure, meaning pure. Only God is pure. We are talking about a person. We are talking about water. Because even water isn't pure. We are talking about a human being, supposedly. According to Islam, he is just a prophet. And yet he is called holy. The most time they try to fix it, they say pure. That is even better. Pure from what? Pure from sin. That is Jesus. So God, he come in the, as a man, but that did not affect him or his nature as holy. Allah is a God who look like a man as we showed you from the hadith the only difference between him and shaitan who is supposed to take in the look of christ is one eye he's short he's not he's not so much deep-seated he described his hair he described his size and the only difference between him the Antichrist and Allah is one eye. But remember, the Antichrist in Islam is not really an Antichrist. It's someone called al masih al-Dajjal, which means the first the person who he will claim to be the Messiah. So he will come in and look like the Messiah. He will do miracles like the Messiah, as Islam believe. And this is why he is called al masih al-Dajjal. al masih al-Dajjal have nothing to do with the word Antichrist, and this is false translation. El Masih, El Dajjal. The Messiah, the liar. This is not the Antichrist. This is the Messiah, the liar. The Jal mean fraud, the scam, like this guy Booby. Making reaction videos that he never heard of the Trinity all his life and he's a Christian. So al Masih al Dajjal, he have a physical body. He look like Allah. The only difference between him and Allah is just an eye. So now, if we try actually to draw Allah, and remember, we are not making fun. This is what Muhammad, he said. This is not my fault. Muhammad, he said so. So if this is Allah, Don't worry, Muslims, I will make him look better, you know, don't worry.
Smash, smash Allah. Wonderful how he can do that. So beautiful. You know, like I, I now I understand why many people they get jealous from my art and etc. Because they, you know, they are like, you know, you know what I mean. I mean, just put yourself in my shoes, you will understand the situation. So, Allah and the the Jal, they look exactly the same. If you notice, there's one eye different from the other eye. Why? Because one of them is going to be the mark point between Allah and the false messiah. They look exactly the same. Both, they are blonde. And this is the mouth of Allah. You have one tooth only. So the difference between them is just one eye. And what the difference between them? What do you mean by one eye? One eye is not working. So they look exactly the same. There's one eye is not functioning. And now you ask yourself, Muhammad, he told them that the difference between the false messiah and Allah is one eye. He is telling them what, what is the reason behind this. So they will not be confused about who is Allah and who is the false messiah. Correct? But here you notice that all the description in the booby video the, by Bobby's is a false description because no one like Allah, no, but nothing like him, nothing is amazing, etc. And then we find that the guy, his name is Adajjal, he looked like Allah exactly, and Muhammad is worried that the Muslims, they will worship him, and they will think that he is God. Do you see it? This is not me saying that. Muhammad is worried about what? He said, I am afraid that you might be confused. Confused about what? Confused about following a Dajjal. But a Dajjal is coming as a man. Why the Muslim they will be following a man thinking that he is Allah? If Allah is not a man. Do you, do you, do you see guys? If Allah is not a man anyway, if nothing like Allah anyway, why in the world the Muslims are confused about who is Allah between them? Hmm? Somebody saying, where you come buy my art? My friend, go to Bobby's. Bobby's, he sell everything. He sell panties, bikinis, he sell fertilizer. Just uh, watch his video reaction to Allah. <laughs> I mean, those reaction videos are really funny. A guy, he play a video and he make reaction, but he watched the video 10 times before he go live. Now he want to make reaction, brother. Mm. Man, oh man. Time will come and they will make reaction for diarrhea. Just wait, just to make money. So if Allah nothing like him, Allah is not like him, not, not a man, then why Allah, Prophet, is comparing Muhammad to a man and he is afraid? You see, it says here, khashit. Hatta khashitu. Alla taqilu. In Messiah the Dajjal. By the way, you see, Muhammad, he says, he did not say the Al Messiah, he says, Messiah the Dajjal. He's just false Messiah. So he's afraid of what? He's afraid that they will think he is God. And the only difference between him and the Lord, he said, Know that your Lord is not one eyed. So all the claim the Muslims they have is a fraud. It's absolutely false. Allah is a man. 
And not only that, according to this, Allah looked like Jesus. How I say that? Because remember, this, this person at Dajjal is a person imposed, imposing himself, or let us say in person, is in person, is trying to imperson the Messiah. He's an imposter. So when he come, he will not say, I am the Dajjal. He will not say, I am the Messiah, the liar. He will say, I am the Messiah. And then you ask yourself, shouldn't Muhammad say that you should know that the real Messiah is not one-eyed? Do we agree? If somebody come in claiming that he is the real Messiah, why Muhammad is afraid that they will think that he is Allah? Do we understand? He is afraid. I am afraid that you may not understand that the Dajjal, the Messiah the Dajjal, is short, etc. He described him physically. He described physical description, not his ability, not his power, not his uh, 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 ethic. He is trying to make him recognized by the physique. And the only difference between Allah and this person, as you see, is just the eye. Well, in this case, Muhammad, he agreed that the Messiah is God. Because remember, this guy is not coming saying, I am Allah. He is coming saying, I am the Messiah. <clears throat> He is not coming to this earth to say, I am, that's why I call him a Messiah. You know? Messiah. Why they call him Messiah? Because he's claiming to be the Messiah. The prophet says that the jail will come to the Medina and will find the angels guarding it. And by the way, here Muhammad he made a poo-poo. He claimed that plague will never enter a Medina. And later we find that the people of Medina they were dying by plague left and right. Another proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Read carefully with me. This is Sahih Bukhari. Once I went to the Medina where there was an outbreak of a disease and the people were dying rapidly. I was sitting with Omar and the funeral passing process by, you know, people dying by a huge number. The people praised the deceased. I'm going to say it, it has been affirmed. Paradise. You know, like for those who die from these. Muhammad, he promised them, by the way, if you die from plague, you go to heaven. What the heck? So, do you see the false prophet? He promised them that the Medina, plague will never enter it. Plague will never enter it. And in the future, if you watch this video, you do not know where to find this video. Very simple. Just type a few words. Choose a few like uh, unique words in the in the hadith and search it. You will find it. You know, like there was an outbreak of disease. Type it, search it in the search engine. You will find it. Right. Uh... Stop, stop mocking your Muhammad. I am not mocking Muhammad. Muhammad is mocking himself. 
I don't mock Muhammad. I never mock Muhammad. I call him stupid. This is not mocking. That's I'm giving him a rank in, in intelligence. Stupid is a somebody have intelligence, but he's a stupid. So you see, I'm respecting Muhammad. A lot of respect. As an example, Muhammad, I don't say he is a criminal. You know, I say he is uh, evil. Because a criminal is just a rank of a crime you do. All of us, we might do something wrong. But evil is deep in the heart. I don't insult him, brother. I hope I did not offend you. Instead of a crying, well, debate me. Is that your prophet saying that there is no disease, no plague will enter the city of Medina? So he's a liar. Look, in front of you, people, they were dying, like left and right. As you see, Muhammad is total fraud. And here we see that the Dajjal will never enter and neither the plague. And look what Muhammad said about the Dajjal. One day, the Messenger of Allah, he said, the Dajjal, in the presence of people, he says, the Dajjal is, uh, uh, he said, verily Allah is not one-eyed. Al-Masihu Dajjal is a blind in the right eye which look like a swollen grape. Imagine, guys, this Messiah, the Dajjal, he can cut you to pieces, he can chop you to pieces with his sword, and he can put you apart together. But he cannot fix his eye. <laughs> and look, There is 70,000 of the Jews they will follow at the jail, brother. 70,000 from the Jews, not from Indonesia. No, 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 no. 70,000 Jews. Uh, Muhammad was afraid that the jail will come in his time. Actually, that the jail was existing in his time. Anyone remember the story of Al Jassasa, the beast? The women, she have hair cover her body, and then they went in the island, they found her, and they told her, she told them to where to find at the Dajjal, and at the Dajjal, he told them, is the Prophet sent, was sent already? Okay, troll, go out from here. We have no time for trollers. Do you remember the story? Do you remember the story? Let us see. I'll just say so. Just to show you how Muhammad is a fraud. According to Muhammad, that the Jal came and he exists in his time. So when Muhammad is speak about the last days, the last day is supposed to happen in his lifetime. Actually, he said in one hadith that this boy will not pass to be adult before the day of judgment come. And the proof in front of us here confirmed that. Muhammad, he claimed that the false Messiah was exist in his time, but he was chained. Read carefully. And this is Sahih. This is Sahih. They cannot say it's a fraud, it's a lie, as usual. Hmm? So, the Master of Allah says, once they laid the congregation, uh, night prayer, he came and he says, the talk of Tamim al-Dari. A guy, he told him a story, Muhammad, right away, he make it as a true story, and he announced it, and he told people to believe it. He said, he transmitted to me from the man who was in the island of the sea. Ah, that was Cyprus. All of the sudden, he found a woman was trailing 
her hair. He asked, who are you? You know, I went to many islands. We were a small island. Not, not a single time got lucky and I saw a woman doing her hair. I mean, why in the world that doesn't happen to me? Why only those nice things happen to Abdul, not to me? So this Abdul, he went to an island. Where is the island? Don't care. Don't ask. Don't question. It's an island. He found a woman and she was doing her hair. Hmm. Her hair is so long, working behind her. And by the way, here it says a man. In different places, it says a woman. Just wait. Uh, actually, no, it's the same how you go into making a man. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. But like the order is different, depending on the story. So, uh, for uh, uh, and it transmitted to me from a man who was one of the uh, of the island of the sea. All of a sudden, he found a woman who was trailing her hair. He asked, "Who are you?" She said, "I am just Sasa." And then she said to him. Go to the castle. Okay. So I came to it and I found a man who was trailing his hair. Looked like everybody in town trained his hair. The woman, she's trained her hair. The guy trained his hair. The only guy is making the story up is a bold. He have no hair. But everybody in the story is trained his hair. Their hair is so long, brother. True story. So he was training his hair, chained in iron collar, and leaping between the heaven and the earth. Like, what the heck? How he is in a castle? How he is in a chain? How he is between the heaven and the earth? I wish I can see all your faces now to make reaction videos. You see faces like what? Like what? You know what? When you see those stories, I imagine that the first time he heard those stories, his mouth would look like this. Excuse me, I have to use my art skills. I cannot resist that. Oh, this is not right. Hold on. What kind of a drawing this drawing is? Hold on, you know, I'm not working with me. I don't know. Guys, I think there is a technical difficulty. This is why I'm not able to draw it correctly. Excuse me. It's the brush, the brush. It's not me, you know. I'm very good in drawing. Hold on. I will change the, the brush and the paint. The color is not working. And the Jews, you know, the Jews, they are the one who broke my brush and they put something in it. So it's not working. So uh, 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 hold on. Uh, they put, uh, they're not only black magic, so, so it's not working. So let us see here. Uh, yeah, now I will show you my uh, my drawing perfectly. You know, okay. This is my drawing, and now I can see your reaction for you hearing this story. This is my drawing, by the way. I did. I just draw it behind the scene. So now all of you, when you see this story. You will look like a duck, literally. Like, whoa, walk, 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 walk. So the woman, she have long hair, trolling hair here, and she is an animal or a human. Her name is a Jessessa. And then they see a man, she said to him, go to the castle right away. I mean, she didn't tell him, she didn't ask him, what do you want? What what the heck you are doing here? What do you want from me? Right away, she said to him, go to the castle. What the heck? The guy, he went to the castle. Guys, honestly, isn't it? I'm, I'm good, right? I mean, look at this. How I can do that? I mean, it looked real. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, like, 
uh, you know, like sometimes they ask me not to make my painting real because if they put it in the wall, people will keep walking. They will think it's like, uh, you know, like nature. When I draw nature, unbelievable, you know, you will see a guy keep walking, keep walking. He go in the wall, he hit his head because it look real. Yeah, like, you know, this is one of them anyway. So this is what happened to you. I think I made a mistake here. Hold on, let me fix it. Because this duck, because I know, you know, I know this duck personally. You know, I have like, you know, I have, I know this duck. She have a green eye. So I think there's a mistake here. Let's fix it. Okay, you know. And now it's, no, it's better. Yeah. And actually here, hold on. I have another mistake here. You know, nobody is perfect. You know, I mean, pff, nobody is perfect. You know, like, pff, yeah. Uh, because she is uh, kind of like she's a female, you know. She they put rings, so she, the blacks do not have ears. So they put the rings, the the earring, the earring they put it in their nose, you know. So they have uh, yeah, a true story. So anyway, uh, now I think now it's uh, it's better, and now we can uh, uh, we can enter history with it. Okay. So she come to you know he told him she told him to go and go to the cave and the cave there is a. Hold on. No, the castle. It's a castle, not a cave. Sorry. I'm adding words to the story. Most of them they will say, see, he's lying to you now. They will accuse me of lying. You will not believe it. Those people they accuse you of lying of anything. Even when you say the truth. And when you lie, they say you are truthful. Look what happened. So, brother, they went to the island, and then in the island, she said to him, Go to the castle. He went to the castle. He found a woman, sorry, a man, is a chained. By the way, this is my drawing too. I draw it very fast for you, just to make you, because I don't want to take time, man, come on. Sometimes, sometime, like the fast one can come even better than you, because they come from inside your heart, like, you know? Yeah, but Jibril, by the way, inspired me. Yeah. No witness? What do you mean no witness? I do not need witnesses. Prophet Muhammad, he never, never have a witness. There's a billion human beings believing him. So why are you asking me for a witness? What's wrong with you? Discrimination? Are you practicing discrimination now? Should I report you to the, the, the Democratic Party doing discrimination now? Are you, are you, are you white supremacist? Catch, catch him, catch him, this guy there in the text. He don't believe me, he's a white supremacist. Anyone don't agree with them, they accuse him that he is a white supremacist, even if he's a black. <laughs> what a stupid party. Unbelievable. So the guy, he went there, and he entered the castle, and he found the guy in the castle. And he was chained. You don't know what it means to be chained, and you are a guy. In a castle, you walk inside the castle, and now we see this guy who have a very long hair sitting between the earth and the heaven like a square. He's a flying brother. He is between the earth and the heaven. His hand, this is his hand. This is Billy. This is his leg. Perfect. I mean, look his head. Nobody can do what I can do, just to be honest. So the guy he enter, and the guy is in the castle in the chain. Where's the chain? Hold on. I forgot the chain. Sorry. You know, that's that's not not uh, good, uh, you know. The enemies, the artists who they don't are jealous from me, they will say, Where is the chain? He missed it. <laughs> you know, I will never let them. So the chain, I think it's around his foot, you know, here. You have a chain here, and the chain is connected to the wall, you know. Yeah, here. If we put two nails, 
So there's no way he can let me add extra nail, you know? Yeah, and more nails. They are deep in the in the wall. Okay, now he's chained and you know he cannot move. That's it guaranteed. I assure you that. I really assure, assure you. So now they enter the uh, castle. Inside the castle, you know, I bet you some, some of you are having popcorn now watching the movie. What's wrong with you people? Do you think really this, uh, this is a, a movie? This is real. This is real. This is a true story. Prophet Muhammad told this story. You think we are making, the, the, you know, this is true? There is witnesses for it. And Muhammad, he heard this story right away. He started telling the Muslims about it. And the guy there, he asked the, Muslim, the Abdul, he said to him, did the Prophet was in, in the Medina? The guy, he said, yes, he is already there. The guy, he said, oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what the guy, he said? When he heard that the Prophet is already in Medina? So, according to Muhammad, you know, the funny is that Ali is asking anyone here learn anything from a, a Christian prince? No, Ali, they are not learning. They are learning from your prophet. <laughs> not from me, my friend. Who am I? Uh, you know, we are reading your prophet words. Here, read, read with me. Hey, Ali, why, why? how come? What's wrong with you? Your prophet, your prophet saying that, not me. What's wrong with you, Ali? Anyone learn anything from Christian prince? Look. It says here, he was trailing his chair, chained an iron collar, and leaping between the heaven and the earth. I ask, who are you? Just think about it. This is the guy from the movie IP Man wearing sunglasses. Who are you? He replied, the Dajjal. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody he answered that he is the liar? This is what the Jal mean. And then he says, As the prophet of the alerted people, come forth now. I replied, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, and 1,000 yes. He said, have they obeyed him or disobeyed him? I said, no. They have obeyed him. Yes, 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 yes. He said, hmm, that is better for them. Look how decent this false messiah. He is giving advice. It's better for them. Why he is the Antichrist and why he is asking people to obey Muhammad? Somebody saying happy birthday, Father Day. A friend, those days are just made for you to spend money. So now your wife, she will go and spend money and your son will buy you a gift. Tomorrow there's a Father Day, my Mother Day, Sunday, Grandfather Day, my Cat Day, Pets Day, Monkey's Days. There's a lot of days these days. None of them is yours, trust me. Happy Father Day. What are you talking about? Muhammad wasn't a father. So there's no father. There's no happy day for Muhammad. What's wrong with people? So he said to them, that's better for them. What a story. So according to Muhammad, uh, uh, the, 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 the Jal, he came in his time. And not only that, that the Jal, he, the, according to Muhammad, he claimed in different story that when uh, he says, did the lake of Tabaraya dry? What the lake of Tabaraya have to do with Muhammad and the Dajjal? Brother. And the story keep going. This is different hadith. Sahih Muslim. The details here. Actually, I should make a video about this Dajjal. What do you think, guys? Maybe next video, next video. Because this will make our movie endless. I'm not going to finish today. You know? Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? Are you having a good time? Okay. Well, I think we should stay, uh, stop here. Otherwise, the movie will continue forever. Already, we are here for how many hours now? We spend one hour just to fix you two. So look at this madness. The Muhammad, he claimed that in his time, in his time, 
the Antichrist was exist as the Muslim they call him a Dajjal and he was exist as a person as a human being and he was chained with a chain I want the Muslim to tell us who is the one who put him in the chain and how someone like the Messiah false Messiah who can destroy the earth who can hit the earth and split it to pieces who can cut a human being to pieces put them together how a person like this you can put him in a chain if you are a muslim and you are you are a black stone kisser we appreciate your answer And maybe we'll try to continue the story. As you see, this is a long story here. So we will try to study this hadith more. And you will see more madness and more stupidity. A clear proof that Muhammad is a fraud, is a false prophet. And he had nothing to do with the prophethood. Leave your comment in the comment section. And we appreciate your comment. Because the more comment you make, the more people they get involved. And we want people to get involved. I don't want to feel like I'm talking to myself, wasting my time here. Trust me, I have way better things to do than talking to myself. I'm the last one who need to learn about Islam. I spend years and years and years and years of my life for one purpose. So you people, Christians or non-Christians, nobody can fool you and convert you to such a garbage cult. God is not a pimp who promised you endless penis as Muhammad did. God is not a child molester to order you to have sex with the children. That is a crime against a humanity, against decency. That is evil. God will not enjoy you dancing for the death of somebody else. God will not promise you heaven for killing others. God is not a gold vendor, bracelet vendor, as the Quran describes him. The God of the Quran is a guy who is trying to buy me with some cheap gold. Some made of silver, some made of gold. A chair, a couch, a river of wine. That is not a promise of God. A God who promised me that I will be reclining over a couch and I will be wearing a silk made in Iran, obviously, is a Persian God. What kind of God do you promise me couches? Why I need to wear a bracelet of gold and what the value of gold in heaven? What kind of God he promised me fruits, bananas? This is God. Or this is a businessman trying to promote some sales. One of the funny things about Muhammad. He think all people are so desperate to his gold. And he can deceive us, even with the slavery of little kids. In the heaven of Allah, 
there's little boys, 80,000 boys for every Muslim at least, who they will be your slaves, the heaven of slavery, and the obsession with boys, and those boys are so pretty. And they are like white, like prose, because in heaven no black people can enter. Have you ever heard of a God, he promised you, that I will give you wine mixed with ginger? Have you ever heard of a God, he tell you, I will give you a dish made of gold or silver? Or a glass of water made of silver? What is that? How stupid a human being to believe that there is such a God? What difference is going to make if the cup is made of silver or it's made from a glass? Actually, from a glass is more healthy. This is just a deception trying to fool us. Have you ever heard of a God? He promised you a garment. A garment? Where is God in these promises? Shoes, garment, silk, drink, ginger, wine milk, endless penis, a lot of women, and you will notice that there is no love in this heaven. It's about lust. It's about the greed. It's about you having all what you want as a physical materials, starting from gold. And for sure, the target is sex and slavery of little boys for eternity. At least in the earth, a human being, when he is a slave, he die, and that's it, he is free. In the heaven of Allah, you are a slave forever, and yet you are a little boy. What kind of joy this God is promising me? That is sick. That is really, really sick. For Islam is religion of sickness and will make you vomit. I hope we learned something good for today. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to make a reaction to the throne of Allah, brother. We just did make a reaction. And our reaction is the best and forget about the rest. Thank you and see you soon again. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him.